Caldicott Lake at sunrise. Just one of the 15 lakes in Milton Keynes, where wildlife and people coexist happily. The River Ouse and Grand Union Canal also run through the town. All these waterways mean Milton Keynes has more bridges than Venice and more shoreline than Jersey. It's not just concrete cows and roundabouts, which was all I knew about Milton Keynes before I came to live here. I found out it's a town purpose-built for cycling, walking and enjoying nature. The Parks Trust, who look after all of this, claim that no one in Milton Keynes is ever more than half a mile away from a green space, and I can well believe it. There are more than 180 miles of bridleways, footpaths and cycle tracks. The fields near my house are full of flowers and abuzz with insects. The woods are home to hundreds of species of birds, such as this gorgeous great spotted woodpecker that I found back in spring, feeding its chick. I love birds of prey, and they seem to be doing really well around here. We see buzzards and red kites nearly every time we go for a walk. But possibly the best and most unexpected bird of prey experience, believe it or not, is when I go and watch the match on a Saturday. This stunning pair of peregrine falcons live in the rafters of the MK Dons Stadium. If you come to a game, you're almost guaranteed to see them, especially in nesting season, and they have raised many chicks successfully over the years. Tricky things to video though, thanks to my husband for these photos, which we'll have to do until I get a better video camera. With all this green space around, it's incredibly easy to attract wildlife to your garden. These lovely blue tits nested under my neighbour's eaves. This friendly robin visits us regularly. And I'm especially fond of these noisy goldfinch who demolish the sunflower seeds almost as soon as I put them out. The birds have been feasting on my apples recently too, but luckily there's loads to go round this year. I hope you've enjoyed this tiny insight into what Milton Keynes has to offer. There's so much more that I've seen but not managed to capture on film. Note to self, spend more time out and about at dawn 